Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a cubic equation. We have x cubed minus the quantity square root of 3 plus 1 times x squared plus 3 equals 0, and we're going to be solving for the x values. I'll be presenting three methods, even though the third method will not be complete. Let's get started with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to... Uh, uh, make some substitutions. So let's go ahead and notice, first of all, notice that we have the square root of 3 and 3. So that kind of tells me that I can just substitute square root of 3 and just suppose it equals a. This implies that 3 can be written as a squared. Now that turns my equation into something called a parametric equation. And parametric equations are kind of fun to solve because for different A values, you get different solutions, but this one has a particular value, so we're going to back substitute at the end. Anyways, we have a cubic equation, and to solve this, I'm going to basically introduce, uh, well, sort of like a two methods, you can say, uh, which will be complete, but the third one is going to be a little different. All right, so let's go ahead and try to solve this equation. I want to turn this into a quadratic equation. So that's one of the motivations to use this substitution because I have an a squared and an a. So let's go ahead and write this as a quadratic equation. So I can basically write it as a squared and then I have minus x squared a and then I have plus x cubed minus x squared equals zero. Now this is a quadratic in a so we can solve it using the quadratic formula a equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is x to the fourth power, minus for ac, a is 1, so c is going to be x cubed minus x squared. Great. And I'm going to divide it by 2, of course. Now let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. If you go ahead and expand, you get x squared plus minus the square root of x to the fourth power minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared. And I definitely know this is an overkill, but it's important. Now, we can go ahead and take out an x squared, and if we do, take a look at this one, we get x squared minus 4x plus 4, which is x minus 2 quantity squared. So it gives us the following. We get x squared times x minus 2 quantity squared. So when I square root that with the absolute value, but plus minus will take care of that, I get two solutions as follows. x squared plus minus x times x minus 2 divide by 2. Now we can go ahead and split it up into two solutions and see what a is in terms of x. So one of the solutions is going to give us a equals, let's start with the plus sign, x squared plus x squared minus 2x divided by 2 and from here a equals x squared minus x. So that's going to be one of my solutions. Remember our equation is quadratic in a and we're solving for a. The second one comes from the minus sign x squared minus x squared plus 2x divided by 2 and that gives us an even simpler solution because x squared cancels out and we end up with a equals x. So those are the two solutions but guess what? This allows us to write the factors of this equation um, in terms of x. So we can go ahead and put the a here and here and write this as x squared minus x minus a multiply by x minus a and since this product is equal to 0 we can just set it equal to 0. Now remember a is equal to square root of 3 right so we can go ahead and back substitute and then from here we're going to get the solutions very easily. First of all x equals square root of 3 is the solution and then and you could probably find that by inspection too. The second one, uh, or the other two solutions, are going to come from the quadratic. And this quadratic, by the way, has real solutions because uh, c is negative, a is positive. So x is going to be negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac is going to give us 4 root 3. That's just going to be a radical. We're not going to simplify that. It's just going to stay like that. So these are going to be the solutions, basically. And this brings us to the end of the first method. Now, why did we do this? It's overkill, right, obviously, because there's an easier way to do it. Well, I just wanted to introduce um, a method that could be used for other cases as well. So you can turn an equation, numerical equation, into a parametric one because parametric will be easier to solve. All right, great. So let's go ahead and talk about the second method. So second method definitely will be easier. So I have my equation x cubed 
minus the quantity square root of 3 plus 1 times x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and expand everything. x cubed minus square root of 3x squared minus x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. Now notice that this equation has four terms and it's factorable. We can factor this by grouping. Let's go ahead and take out x squared. And now here I can take out a negative 1 for now and just write it as x squared minus 3 equals 0. And now from here, how do I make this factorable, right? I have x squared minus 3 and x minus root 3. So we can factor x squared minus 3 using difference of two squares. So now I can write that as minus 1 times x plus root 3 times it con its conjugate. And that gives us a common factor, which is x minus root 3. And as before, you know, we already knew that, right? x equals root 3 is a um, solution. And the other factor is just going to be x squared minus x minus root 3. And the product is going to be 0. So from here, basically, we get the same solutions as before. Great. Okay, so uh, this is obviously easier, but our equations are not always going to be factorable. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, uh, with the third method, uh, we're going to be using a very, very radical approach. The third method. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to complete this because this is going to take, you know, a long time. We're going to use the cubic formula. Yay. All right, great. So if you have an equation like this, y cubed plus my plus n equals 0, uh, basically you can find the y value from here as the cube root of negative n over 2 plus the square root of n squared over 4 plus m cubed over 27. So let me go ahead and erase that. Let me rewrite it. So it's going to be one of the roots plus we pretty much write the same thing but this time we're going to use a minus sign pretty much same thing n squared over 4 plus m cubed over 27. basically you if you can turn your equation into this and you can find the solutions uh, I, I shouldn't say very easily but you can definitely find that now our equation has an x squared term so we kind of need to do a little bit of manipulation here to get rid of the x squared and that's done by let me just tell you that and i'm going to leave it at that uh, you can replace x with something like y plus root 3 plus 1 over 3 and guess what this is going to turn your equation into this y cubed minus if i'm not mistaken 4 plus 2 root 3 over 3y minus 20 plus root 3 over 27 equals 0 and from here you can basically solve it using the formula and this brings us to the end of this video with you well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye